The title of my paper is Low Complexity Hybrid Precoding for Millimeter Wave MIMO Systems. The first part is the introduction. Massive MIMO technology and the millimeter wave system as the key technologies of the new generation of mobile communications can effectively increase channel capacity and relieve spectral resources. Furthermore, the use of hybrid recording technology can improve system performance and reduce system hardware complexity. The classic hybrid precoding algorithm that based on simultaneous orthogonal matching pursuit, which is referred to as SOMP, requires matrix inverse, which leads to high complexity and its performance depends on the accuracy of channel estimation. In this paper, by modeling the millimeter wave MIMO system, we compare three improved algorithms. The first, based on the singular value decomposition, a hybrid precoding algorithm based on the SVD of the residue matrix is proposed, which is referred to as RMSVD. And the second, the DFT codebook is used as a candidate matrix for its orthogonality, which can avoid the iterations in matching pursuit and is referred to as OBMP. At last, an approach is proposed to simplify the matrix inversing computation by applying blockwise inversion is referred to as IMIB. SOMP. We analyze the performance of the algorithms such as complexity, spectral efficiency, bit average, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of the algorithms. The second part is the system model. As shown in the figure, the base station equips with the Anti Atner's transmit uh, NI data streams to the user equipment uh, equipped with uh, NR Atner's. There are radio frequency chains at the transmitter and the receiver. The transmitted signal at the base station is this equation, and uh, the received signal at the user equipment is this equation. And then considering that the millimeter wave has the characteristics of high path loss and line of sight transmission, the narrowband scattering cluster channel model is used to model the millimeter wave channel. The system channel can be described this equation. In this paper, we adopt uniform linear arrays and then the array response vector is this. Then we consider the problem of hybrid precoder designs. The target of hybrid precoding is to maximize the spectral efficiency over all possible solutions of precoder and combiner. According to mathematical derivation, the joint optimization problem can be decoupled. Then we only consider the design of the hybrid precoder. In general, the precoder design problem can be written as this. The classical hybrid precoding algorithm is based on simultaneous orthogonal matching pursuit. The main steps of the algorithm are shown in the table. The algorithm mainly has two issues. The first is a high dependence on the channel estimation, and the second is a high complexity of matrix inversion. The third part is the hybrid precoding algorithm. First of all, we consider the RMSVD algorithm. 
The algorithm is mainly composed of two parts, the design of the initial radio frequency precoding matrix and the update of the initial precoding matrix. The initial radio frequency precoding matrix is constructed by performing SVD on the optimal full digital precoding matrix as shown in the equation. And uh, we construct a matrix FR. Its dimension is this, and uh, the face of its elements uh, obeys a uniform random distribution on this. At the same time, it is forced to limit its amplitude to this. Therefore, the equation has the following equivalent form. And uh, under unrestricted conditions, according to the SVD of optimal for digital precoding matrix, a global optimal solution can be obtained. And then the face of all elements of the SV are preserved and the amplitude of all elements is forced to be this. And this is the main steps of the algorithm. And then we consider the OBMP algorithm and considering the sparse characteristics of the millimeter wave channel, the DFG codebook is used as the candidate matrix based on the orthogonality of the DFT codebook as shown in the figure. By calculating the correction matrix, the power contribution distributed is performing directions can be calculated in parallel. The correction matrix can be expressed as this. And because of the orthogonality of the DFT beamforming vectors, the column vectors can be selected in parallel in the DFT codebook without iteration to form radio frequency precoder. And uh, since the, this matrix is composed of orthogonal column vectors, the baseband precoder can be expressed as this. And this is the main step of this uh, hybrid precoding algorithm. At last, the MIB SOMP algorithm divides a high dimensional matrix into a low dimensional matrix and uh, uses the result of the previous iteration to perform the inverse operation of the block matrix in the current iteration, which reduces the complexity of the SOMP algorithm. And then the fourth part is the performance analysis. First of all, we compare the complexity of the algorithm. The number of complex multiplications during the iteration of the hybrid precoding algorithm of SOMP and RMSVD is shown in the table. Due to the sparsity of millimeter wave channels, the number of atoms is much larger than the number of basis vectors in the candidate matrix in millimeter wave MIMO systems. So the RMSVD algorithm requires more complex multiplications. And then the number of uh, complex multiplications during the iteration of the hybrid precoding al algorithm of OBMP and MIBSOMP is shown in the table. 
The OBMP algorithm uses the DFT codebook with the orthogonal column vectors as the candidate matrix and selects column vectors with the largest power contribution in parallel. In addition, the algorithm converts the least square method into a simple indexing process so that matrix inversion is not required, which greatly reduces the complexity of the algorithm. The MIB SOMP algorithm applies blockwise inverse and achieves hybrid precoding through iterative inverse. This procedure greatly reduces the computation complex and enable efficient hardware implementation. And then we compare the spatial efficiency, the simulation pa parameters in the performance analysis are shown in the table. We compare the spectral efficiency of all hybrid precoding algorithms. From this figure, we observe that IMIB SOMP algorithm exhibits the same spectral efficiency as the SOMP algorithm. This is because the algorithm only changes the method of matrix inversion. But the hybrid precoding matrix is the same as that of the SOMP algorithm. The spectral efficiency of the RMSVD algorithm is higher than that of the SOMP algorithm, which is closer to the optimal for digital precoding algorithm. This algorithm better extracts the information in the optimization optimization target matrix by performing singular value decomposition on the residue matrix. The OBMP algorithm has the lowest spectral efficiency because the candidate matrix is defined in advance without the channel stage information. And then in the figure, we compare the bit average of the algorithms consistent with the spectral efficiency of algorithms. I might be SOMP and SOMP have the same bit average. The RMSVD has a lower bit average than the SOMP algorithm. The OBMP algorithm has the highest bit average. And then the last part is the conclusions of the paper. First, the RMSVD algorithm is more complicated than the SOMP algorithm due to the SVD of the residue matrix but the spectral efficiency is approximately improved 5% to 10%, and the bit average is approximately reduced 30% to 40%. And second, the OBMP algorithm uses the DFT codebook as the candidate matrix to completely avoid the matrix inversion. The complexity is about 20% of the MIB SOMP algorithm. The spatial efficiency is reduced by about 20%, and the bit average is increased by about 35% to 40%. And last, the MIB SOMP algorithm uses blockwise inversion and replaces the matrix inverse with uh, iterative inverse. The algorithm exhibits the same performance as the SOMP algorithm results with uh, reduced computational complexity. That's all. 
Thanks for listening.